Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Jupiter Plays All the Games. This time with a GM48. The GM48 um, is a game maker game gem where developers are challenged to use the game maker engine to make a game in 48 hours. This is the 22nd GM48, and the theme was Descend. I'm playing all of the games that are entered in this gem for about a minute each, 10 per video. Links to the individual games will be in the description so you can check them out further. And all my info will also be in the description, so you can check me out as well. At the end, I'll probably have an article of my favorites on Game Jolt's Fireside. Thank you very much for watching, liking, and commenting. Next. We're playing Outer West. 2020, Second Cold War begins. 2027, Second Space Race begins. Landing on new planets is, prim is primary human objective. You are America's top descender. Gotten speed. Press F to use left thruster. J to use right thruster. Oh. I hit enter. Hmm. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna skip all of this and just start. J and F. Okay. I like the graphics of this. I'm pretty sure I did it. Ah, oh, descend failed. Touchdown speed was too high. All right, fair enough, fair enough. I was trying to get like right on this platform. No, this is wrong. Yeah, it's gonna fail because of the way I touched down maybe. Touch down speed was too high, touch pitch too severe. I was never good at these types of games. Nope. Ah, oh, the pitch was probably at a too severe angle, and it was too fast. Nope, just the pitch. Darn it. Next. We're playing Downfall. This game might not be safe for work, so if you're watching my videos at work, uh, maybe you should watch different videos or skip to the next game. I don't know, it just says, not safe for work themes. Arrow keys to move, said to fire, your slingshot. Okay. Okay. A book entitled Different Ways to Make a Child. Okay, let's kill the bug. You can't keep punching people in the face. I know I can't keep doing it. I'm not sure what these <laughs> books have to do with anything. Missionary position. As the female lays on her back while as the male faces her. Am I supposed to collect anything inside here? Ugh. I can't shoot up, I can only shoot left or right. So. There are other ways to solve your problems, but some people only understand consequences. Doggy style, the male and female both face in the same direction. There's lots of blood in this level. It's a very interesting game. It's quite simple in gameplay. Next. We're playing Unstable. Uh, arrow keys, WST moves, and to interact with stairs and text, okay. Sure, level one. Do I need to like mine these? Oh, that's a bit weird. No, I can just use, okay, so I can just use WASD. I was thinking for a minute I had to have arrow keys, mouse, and also Z, and that was going to be a lot. I'm just mining. I'm finding stuff, which is probably good. It's a bit creepy in here. Look at these. Wow, there's a lot of ore. Should probably go deeper though. I would just systematically smash all of these rocks before going anywhere else. But that's okay. Level two. Alright, just more more rocks. It's telling me how much of everything I have, some things I have a lot of, some things I have none of. Is there any secrets in here? I'm waiting. Ooh, that's cool. So we can go back down. We obviously don't want to go back down. Maybe we should go down there anyway. Oh, it just took us to level three. Alright. Interesting game. Next. 
We're playing Flesh Eye versus Eye Mind. Uh, just shoot everything. Yeah, I think I just shoot everything. Oh, and we can collect the, the V's because they are power ups. Maybe. What's this? Okay, so there's a nice variety of power ups. Oh, and I can't just click and hold. Should have done that earlier. There's another cool way to shoot, and that looks like a boss who's probably gonna kill us because I'm not actually good at dodging bullets. At least occasionally he throws out like uh, power ups. Ooh, we got hit. Ah, so it's just really our base eye that can get hit. It's a very well made game. Okay. Nearly there. Bam. Next. We're playing Dig Dug. Oh, that's pretty cool. I love interactive starting screens. All right, so we want to collect lapis. That is our goal. The thing is, once you start going down, um, that's it. You really can't go back up. You can kind of go side to side, but you are in a tunnel. Can I get the green stuff? Sure. Got two pieces of lapis. Oh, apparently I need more than two now. <laughs> no, that's only one. Goal is three. <laughs> Ugh. I almost got stuck, but I didn't. Got three. Perfect. Okay. Now we need four. Ugh. It's too late. We got stuck. Unless there's lapis here. There's not. But we do know where there is lapis. Alright. It's a very simple game. But it's super interesting. Different. Oh, we can't get that. Wait, we can still get four. Okay. Bam. Next. We're playing Drone Delver. Click on any two drones to swap pieces matching three of the same height number causes them to signal the adjacent drones to go up or down depth. Red adds blue subtracts drones that go above. Negative depth go irresponsive. Above ten, multiples of seven. Clear rows, multiples of nine. Uh, <clears throat> we'll see if we're good at this. There's a load of threes. Okay, so I cleared those. They have to be the same color. No, there's like a, a one that's stuck. Okay. Ah, oh, the time is just going down, and there's so many numbers. Five, five, you need another five. I want to see if... I don't know. Can we go sideways? We can. Okay. Can we just move them for no reason? We can also just move them. So if I go here... And I go there. Ooh, that was pretty good. And so you can connect ones that are just different colors. It doesn't matter. Oh, I thought there was a two there. There you go. Five, five, five. And that turned into a ten, which is fine. It's a pretty interesting matching game. It's quite challenging in just the fact that they're all different numbers, so you have to, like, read each one and see if there's one there that you can use. Current depth ten. I think I'm playing it right anyway. Next. We're playing Rise Below. Alright. So we need to be better at jumping. Is that like a checkpoint? I feel like it probably is. The music here is quite scary. 
That felt a touch loud, so I lowered it. <laughs> oh, couldn't quite make that jump. So I ended up falling a lot. This is pretty challenging. I don't know if I can actually reach that block. I can. Just need to become better at the game. Now we've got bees. We can't really wait for ages. Nope. Oh, darn it. We were right by the next checkpoint as well. Next. We're playing House of Delusion. I wasn't sure if those bloody dots were going to be spikes. You hear that? It's laughing at you. Press space to make it play. I mean, maybe I didn't want to do this. <clears throat> Alright, no, it's dead. It's fine. I'll destroy it with left mouse. Okay. We'll take that. And you can only collect items while in madness. Okay. Is that an item? Alright. Um, I like the touch of it locking you into the room once you go into madness. I feel like that's a very good idea. I also like how they're like regular everyday objects. Like dressers and beds that I'm afraid of. Okay. And I have like a shotgun. Clothes are being thrown at us. Alright, and then onwards. It's a very well made game. Some kitchen knives flying through. Ooh, ooh, that's like a black hole. That was like really sucking us in. Next. We're playing Mr. Poop, a sewer adventure. I'm um, pretty sure my friend was just eaten. But we'll just... Oh. Yeah, I could really jump over the... What should we call it? The... That. Oh, uh, we can go in this way. Okay. The graphics are super cute. We can kill all of them with this. <laughs> Thanks. All right, so I think we need it for the box, though. Yeah, we'll save this again. I think we already did, so we can't. Yeah, that was a mistake. I probably should have waited a couple more seconds, maybe. Oh, and you can't just jump on their heads. Uh, I was hoping I could just make it. Nope. This is very challenging. Next. We're playing circles all the way down. Um, if your master catches the particles, uh, as you catch particles, you will change color. You slowly digest particles you catch, but it takes a few seconds. You cannot eat more than three particles before one kills you. Your color will determine your current fullness. The more full you are when you digest, the more points you are awarded. Okay. Alright, so then like, I'll go back to green when I'm sufficiently hungry. The way this sort of flows forward is quite interesting. Because it almost seems to go through us. But sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> Can't get another one. Oh wow, there's a lot of them. Oh, it's a very big mix of like avoiding, but also catching. And then also trying to figure out where things are coming from. I very much like this moving background that's super interesting. So far I've caught none. Okay. 
So the whole environment's changed color. It's a very interesting game. Next 